early intervention is much more effective than later intervention. Economists use the expression pay now or pay more later. So if you don't invest in early childhood, then the consequences later can be significant. So one example, uh, treating a child with severe behavior and emotion problems when they're three or four is much more effective and more successful than waiting until they're 15. The second part is what goes along with early intervention is early identification. Who's at risk for developing in an atypical fashion? And if we could identify those kids at a very young age, those are the kids we'd intervene on. One of the most important skills is self-control, what psychologists sometimes call externalizing behavior, aggression. So if you can teach the child to sort of engage with others, engage in kind of a, a more normal life, that you can have substantial benefits. In the U.S., it costs somewhere between fifty, sixty, seventy thousand dollars a year to put somebody in prison, and we have a huge prison epidemic in the United States. We know that the early childhood programs substantially reduce the incarceration, they reduce the crime, they actually give these children the kind of control over their own lives. What societies need to thrive are the sustainable conditions that enrich families, that uphold and support our most precious relationships. This is what we all need to thrive. So I think understanding that other countries are doing this and that they're going to be building uh, the brains of children who will be better ready for school and for life to uh, populate the, the companies of the future. It becomes a very pragmatic goal, one that, that policymakers can get behind because there's an economic reason for it. It's never too late. It's very important to always remember that a child's development can be impacted throughout their life. This is prevention, and it's an investment that pays off many times later on in life.